let's say we want to have a 40 amp charger on the wall or a 50 amp charger on the wall, no problem. One SKU, field commissionable. That is number one, one thing I'm really excited about with this product. You can actually green charge with this charger in one amp increments. Is that going to be Fiat compliant? Is that going to be domestic content compliant? Yeah. It's going to be simplistic. It's going to be easy. It's going to have that same reliability and that beautiful form factor. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. This afternoon, I'm joined by Jeremy Sullivan from Enphase. We're looking at the brand new Enphase IQ EV Charger 2. So, Jeremy, it's good to see yeah, you again. Thank Thanks you. for taking time to chat with us. Happy to be here. Yeah, very, very excited about this product in general. Uh, be it that I am also an EV owner, this one I'm excited about. That's so, cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess for those aren't, that aren't familiar, a couple of years ago, there was a, the, the original Enphase IQ EV Charger that came out. But for those that maybe didn't see that, can you kind of take it from the top? What is the Enphase? What does the Enphase IQ EV Charger 2 do, and how does it interface with the rest of the the Generation 4 Enphase platform? Yeah, I love that question. So, like, just in every iteration, right? We got to get better and better, right? So this EV Charger in particular is better for a number of reasons. Uh, the first reason that this is a better charger, right, is based on the connector type. So you could either have um, an NACS connector, or you could have the J1772. So you got either connector type, but you got one SKU per connector type. So let's say we want to have a 40 amp charger on the wall or a 50 amp charger on the wall, no problem. One SKU, field commissionable. That is number one, one thing I'm really excited about with this product. Okay, okay. So, and that helps. It looks like the, the aesthetic has got upgraded to match the, the other major components on the platform, like the, the IQ10C battery or the IQ Combiner 6C. Um, what can you share about the, the specifications of the charger itself? Like how fast yeah, can we charge? Totally. What, what, you know? Yeah, so this is, this is pretty cool. So you could do uh, up to 80 amps at technically at 277, you could do to 22 kW from this charger, which is pretty fast. Uh, typically speaking, you know, you got, if you got a, bigger vehicle and that can handle an 80 amp charger. Um, like my Lightning can do a 19.5 kW, all from a single SKU, or you could dial it down at the time of commissioning for your 48 amp. Um, so that's one thing. Second thing is that uh, the beauty of this, and I'll talk about it when I talk about the fourth generation product that we have, the Enphase Energy System fourth generation, you can actually green charge with this charger in one amp increments. So what does that mean? So I've got one amp of available solar power that's not being utilized by the home. I can actually dial it into the, tr to the vehicle. Um, and it's again, it's a very simplistic product. So that goes up and down with that one amp increment. It's pretty cool. You asked about looks. So yeah, it looks very similar. I've got some breaking news for you. This guy's actually going to come out in black with a black front. So it's silver right now because I put this up two weeks ago. This is actually going to be a black-faced charger okay. in the end. It's a pretty sleek, pretty sexy. It's going to look pretty good in the garage. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Now you mentioned green charge, so you can, you yeah. can. I guess you can program on the app to say, you know, only charge my vehicle if, if there's excess solar available. Sure. What What are the other sort of operating modes or controls that you can you can put on there as far as like when to charge the vehicle? Totally. Yeah. So there's a number of things, right? This could be just your standard charger. You plug it in, you charge it full power, right? Some some places that's totally fine. You might not even have an Enphase system, so you still have the app. You can still connect to this. Um, and understand what your car is doing, just like a standard charger. But what's really nice about this system is that one amp increment, that green charging, how it plays in with solar power. Um, that's really the game changer between this and another you know, charger on the market. That's the major difference. I'd say this thing actually pays itself back faster than any other charger on the market, especially when you pair it with a PV or battery system. All right, well, let's talk more about that because you know, as we've kind of touched on earlier, it's not just a standalone product. Maybe it could be used just standalone, but but the way these systems are evolving, it's solar, battery storage, load control, any number of exactly. other things, all on part of the platform. So I'd like to, maybe if we can take a look here at, at the new Enphase Combiner 6C, how the EV charger ties into that, and then, then how it would interface with all the other parts of the system, but the microinverters, the battery storage as well. Exactly, I'd love to. And quite frankly, you know, we're all in different markets, right? So at the end of the day, we all have different profiles. We all have different 
consumption needs. This charger, based with the other part of the Enphase Energy system, has the capability to go up and down based on what's needed. All right, Jeremy, so we're looking at the new Enphase Combiner, the IQ Combiner 6C. So let's 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 kind of dig into how does the, the EV charger interface with the combiner and then how does that then allow it to interface with other parts of the system? Yeah, totally. So here's the beauty, right? So Enphase is all about the system overall. Um, so what's beautiful about the Combiner 6, quite frankly, is you've got a dedicated EV charger spot, okay? Now, when I talked about that one amp increment earlier and green charging, we're actually able to do that because we're utilizing a CAN or control area network connection from the Combiner directly to the charger. So I can scale up and down perfectly with ease. Okay, is this something we can open up? Or Absolutely, it... yeah. So. It's a little tricky. Got to know how to work the, work the levers. Awesome. So here we are. We've got the Enphase IQ Combiner 6C. So we've got our built-in cell modem. By the way, this cell modem is cell switching. So AT&T, Verizon, whatever's best on site, switch between the two. We've got a dedicated spot for that EV charger I talked about earlier. So that dedicated spot can handle up to an 80 amp breaker and it'll control area network cable talk to that charger to be able to green charge. Within the system, I've got available breaker spaces for actually, this shows four, but I can actually have five PV branch circuits. So up to 100 amps of PV branch circuits. It's a pretty large system. And then I've got two dedicated breaker spaces just for the IQ batteries. And I can actually add uh, up to four per line so I can do eight IQ battery 10 Cs. That's 80 kilowatt hours. Jeff. Just in these two slots? Just in those two slots. Cool, okay. Yeah. Very cool. I take it with a two battery, if we're just doing a two battery system, we could just do one on each breaker and not have to do a separate combiner panel? Exactly. And quite frankly, Joe, you don't have to do a separate combiner panel at all. These can be daisy changed together, if you will, and just okay. wired along the whole way. Okay, all right. Yeah. Very cool, very yeah. cool. Last but not least about this, that I'm really proud of is that load control space. Okay. Okay. So the load control space is pretty cool. What I like about this is you can control any type of load you want up to 80 amps continuous uh, space. You can control a sub panel. You can control a heat pump. Um, or maybe you have third party PV. Maybe you have an old legacy end phase system. You can actually land it here and you can determine through the app if you want it to power during upgrid, off-grid, you can do all that via the load control. So we built that load control breaker into the unit this time. Hey Jeremy, you know, one of the topics that keeps coming up this week, of course, is domestic content compliance and, um, you know, FIAC concerns and things of that sort. Absolutely. So can you give us a little bit of a high level view on, you know, the Enphase products that we saw today, the EV charger, the new combiner, um, how is that going to be FIAC compliant? Is that going to be domestic content compliant? Yeah, so, got it. Great question. Bottom line. Let's talk about domestic content, right? So pretty early on, Enphase was ahead of the curve and decided they're going to do something about domestic content pretty early. So you can tell they got really interested in making sure that customers had the domestic content available, scaled up at some factories in the United States. Um, I can tell you that we will have, or we do have the um, IQ Battery 10C with a 56.8% domestic content availability. Our Enphase Micro line has a, uh, an Enphase domestic content line, so we're prepared there. And then quite frankly, Joe, as it pertains to FIOC, and I know that a lot of the considerations are still getting underway, we don't exactly know how things are gonna go. Enphase is prepared, as always. We know what we're gonna do. Okay, Jeremy, so we're back here looking at the, the IQ EV Charger 2. We, we've seen how that can tie in at the combiner and then interface with other parts of the system. Yeah. Now, I've got to ask about bi-directional. Totally. You know, one of the most anticipated technologies, I think, from consumers with these EV chargers is the ability for that EV charger to, to pull from the vehicle battery and maybe maybe use that to energize the home during a blackout. Absolutely. So, so. tell us, is bi-directional on the roadmap or what's available? you got to know bi-directional is on the roadmap with Enphase, Joe. So, at the end of the day, we're prepared, we're working on it. Uh, we're gonna have a product in 2026. I can tell you right now, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Um, it's gonna be simplistic, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna have that same reliability and that beautiful form factor. 
Um, and at the end of the day, it's all going to be utilizing a very simplistic platform with that meter caller that we have to provide full home backup from the vehicle. So the answer is absolutely, Joe. Very cool. Of course, we'll have more on that, folks. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. As we get more information and then some of these product releases are, are formalized, we'll make sure that you stay up to date with everything. Uh, well, Jeremy, thanks for taking more time to chat with us today. It's my pleasure. Uh, folks, again, this has been a chat with Jeremy Sullivan from Enphase, looking at the new Enphase IQ EV Charger 2, as well as the new combiner. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today's video. Thank you for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.